Well, greetings, Virgo, and uh, welcome to your horoscope. So, for Virgo, what we have right now is um, we've got the sun moving out of the fourth house into the fifth house. Um, Jupiter and Saturn together in the sixth house. It's about working on your health. It's about working on service, working on community projects with other people for greater good. There's this goal for greater good that's coming up in this Jupiter-Saturn connection for Virgos. I mean, it's like no surprise. Um, you know, Sagittarius time is more about staying at home for you and, you know, your heritage, your mother, your parents, older adults, history, fixed assets, you know, those are the things you're dealing with, um, right now. Well, we're moving into, um, Capricorn and that's the fifth house. So what do you love? How do you express yourself? How do you do your artwork? Um, where can we see this? What's your relationship like with your children? And are you happy with them? This is another thing to look at. Now, with Mercury in um, Sagittarius, it's like you're, you're conscious about what you're saying. And Venus is there too. You're conscious about how you're feeling and what your needs are right now. So it's a lot of it's about your needs and... Maybe you've got some old books you want to sell or magazines, things like that. Uh, maybe you have a vehicle you want to sell or buy. Some of that could happen while Mercury and Venus transit your fourth house. But overall, like as Sun moves into Capricorn, and since most of you are sidereal Leos anyhow, it's like pay attention to your heart. You know, um, pay attention to... The spirit in which you do things and where you would like that to go and with that we can move on over <clears throat> move it on over to Libra so greetings Libra welcome to your horoscope um, we want to keep things in balance. Uh, Sagittarius time was about the third house, siblings, uh, neighborhoods, information, working with your hands, your personal expression, where you find courage, where you need to make improvements in your life. Some moves over into Capricorn. That's the fourth house. That's, you know, your parents, your home, your family. Those of us with older parents during the pandemic, we're super concerned about them. We're hoping that they make it. You know, we're and um, yeah, we're we're doing it. Um, now, Jupiter, Saturn in the fifth house. The moon's there too. Um, it's like this is a kind of a heart-opening weekend for 